All right, so now that you've hopefully gotten back to FL, your version, made this pattern, something similar like it, we'll go in, I'll talk about how exactly to go adding your own sounds, your own elements into these patterns in FL. The way you go about doing that is if you go, you'll want to direct your attention to this left dialog box over here, known as the browser tab. If you don't see this box pop up, go up again to this tab up here, Go scroll until you see the View Browser Picker plugin, plugin picker, which is right about the middle. Left click it, should it pop up right here. You should see pretty much all these same files. You'll see maybe one or two more uh, additional folders. Like you'll see, open this up, you'll just see the packs option. Usually, you see I have a second packs option here. This is something I've personally imported. If you have a folder that you want, at your fingertips right away in FL Studio, so you don't have to like mainly because at least FL allows you to go to your desktop, uh, drag a f open a folder and drag in the file manually. If you just want to be able to access to the brat the plugin browser here, super easy to do. Go up to your options, go to your file settings. As you can see, I have my packs and all that already listed here. Let's say okay, I want to add another folder here. Left click that. I'll direct it to let's say let's go to the DJ folder. Hit OK, and as you see, it pops up right here, and now I can click it, and it has a bunch of folders with all the various uh, picture files, MP3 files I want to drag in. Makes it super easy to access. At least right now, I don't want it, so I'm going to remove this. Hit refresh. Now it's gone, and we can just work with it. So that's how you add some of your own additional folders here if you want to quickly access it if you don't like what FLs default pack pre sounds like. But now that we have a little bit about file browsing out of the way, let's go and actually add in our sound. So you have two options. Uh, I'll show you the first option for those of you who don't want to go downloading extra um, free packs, so you can, so you at least you have a you have knowledge about where you can go grabbing different sounds. Is that FL comes with a nice set of packs, you can pretty installed with it. Got drums, instruments, legacy loops. You just go in, left click. They're actually all pretty solid. Uh, <laughs> for the longest time, when I was starting out as a producer, uh, I had the mindset. I think most guys do is like, ah, uh, FL's preset stuff, not super great. You have to get new stuff, you know. But now that I come back to it after three years, actually, some of their stuff is really good. So don't feel afraid at all to go in and select any of these kicks, claps, what have you, for your sound. So for this one, we'll go into the drum section and we'll go ahead and we're going to browse around and find a better kick for our sound. So the way you go do that is you can, there's a couple options. The easiest way, probably the most time intensive, is if you left click, you can get a quick preview of the sound. The quicker way is if you use your up and down arrow keys, you can scroll between the sounds and get a sense really quickly of what they sound like. You hear sound that you like, but you want to hear it again just to make sure it sounds good. Use the right arrow key to preview again. All right, so I'm going to scroll around until I find a kick I like, and I'll show you how to add it. All right, so I kind of like Groove 15 13, which you know, 13 being anybody's favorite number, it's always the lucky one. So we have our little kick here. The way we go about adding it to our kick sound, left click, drag, and drop it right over. So now if we hit the space bar, we'll hear a different kick sound plays every single time the computer goes over a given beat. So let's hit space bar, and you get a sense of what it sounds like. If you want to add a sound, into this playlist without having to drag it directly over a sound to having to replace it. Just as easy. You can select your sound, drag it in, just don't drag it. Make sure there's no green box that appears. And if you let it go, a new sound will appear. So now you can put in a different pattern down below and get an even more unique, nuanced beat going. I like the sound of that, so we'll keep that kick in there for now. So we'll go in, now we have our kicks. Let's go ahead and replace our clap sound with something different. So again, just in case you haven't got the process already, go in, 
scroll around till we can find FL's kicks because it looks like they're making it super apparent where they hide them. In this case, go to their drum section, let's go to their collapse, the percussion section. And we'll scroll around. I kind of like the sound of number three, so we'll go ahead and left click, drag that in. Now if we hit play, we have a different clap sound. I think I'm going to change the position of this acoustic kick really quick. Just to get a, a different groove. Alright, so now we have really have a uh, drum loop going. Again, like all the other tutorials, I encourage you, go in, make sure you know how to add your own sounds into the channel rack. Go in, browse around. FL has a lot of cool ones. Maybe if you have your own pack you've downloaded, go in with all the with the, all your files, add your own sounds in, do it that way. What have you, make sure you're getting the muscle memory for this. So in the next video, we can go about how exactly we can choose sounds for our dance music track in order to make it a little bit more musical and not just super percussive for the whole track.